Getting ready for the Kogut third grade test might seem like a big challenge, but with consistent practice and the right tools, it becomes much easier. In this video, we'll guide you through the test format and share examples from all nine sections. These samples are designed to help your child feel prepared and confident. Let's get started. Before we jump into the sample questions, let's quickly go over the test structure. The Kogut is divided into three main batteries, nonverbal, quantitative, and verbal. Each battery is further broken down into three subtests. Now it's time to explore some practice questions together. Invite your child to join you and solve these questions side by side for a fun and interactive learning experience. The first subtest we'll cover is figure matrices, which is part of the nonverbal battery. The following question has three figures. The first two figures in the top row go together. The third figure in the bottom row goes with one of the answer choices. Choose the answer choice that goes with the third figure. You can pause the video to examine it carefully. Two similar shapes are placed on one another. The bottom shape flips vertically to form the shape in the next box. When the bottom shape flips, it will form a shape similar to the shape shown in option D. Therefore, the correct answer is option D. The next subtest is figure classification. In this question, the first three figures are alike in some way. Choose the figure from the answer choices that goes with the first three figures. All shapes contain a bigger circle and a smaller circle within the bigger circle. Both inner and outer circles have the same border color. In addition, the inner circles are filled with black color. The only option that meets the given criteria is option A. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The final subtest in this nonverbal battery is paper folding. This question shows a paper folded several times and then punched with holes. The answer choices contain unfolded papers with punched in holes. You need to determine which of the answer choices is the final product of the unfolded punched in paper. A paper is cut into a circle and folded into a quarter. A triangle shape is punched into it. Since the paper was also folded in half from top to bottom, the bottom and top triangles will be mirror images of each other. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. You're doing great so far. These types of questions may seem tricky at first, but with practice, they'll feel much more manageable. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support lets us create more resources to help your child excel. All right, let's move on to the next battery of the test, the quantitative battery. The first subtest on this battery is number analogies. This question shows two pairs of numbers with a certain mathematical connection and another number that shares that connection with one of the answer choices. Find the missing number for the third pair. Look at the numbers in the first pair and try to figure out the rule they follow. How do we get from 6 to 24? We see that if we multiply the first number by 4 or add 18 to it, we get the second number. What happens to the second pair? When we multiply 13 by 4 or add 39 to it, we get 52. The rule for the two pairs must be the same. The rule multiply the first number by 4 to get the second works in both pairs. So in the next pair, we should also multiply by 4. Therefore, 32 is the correct answer. The next subtest in this battery is called number series. This question shows a series of numbers that have a rule. Use the rule to determine which number will come next in the series. In this series, the pattern is plus zero, plus one, plus two, plus zero, plus one, plus two, and so on. It is always important to examine a pattern carefully so you don't miss a small change in the pattern like the one that occurs here. The last three numbers in the series are 10, 10, and 11. 10 is larger than 10 by zero, and 11 is larger than 10 by one. Therefore, the next number in the series should be larger than 11 by two. So 13 is the correct answer. The final subtest in this battery is number puzzles. In this question, you are given an equation with a missing number. You must solve the equation to determine what number is missing. We need to find the number that, when added to 24 and then subtracting 11, will give us 63. 
This is what we know. First, we simplify the right side of the equation by subtracting 11 from 24. This is because we need to combine the numbers on the same side of the equation to make it easier to compare both sides. Now, the equation becomes, to find the missing number, we use subtraction. Let's subtract 13 from 63. So, the correct answer is 50. Want more practice? Check out our full package in the description below and the pinned comment. It's packed with complete simulations and focused drills to help your child feel fully prepared. Now, let's move on to the last battery of the third grade Koget test, the verbal battery. The first subtest in this battery is called verbal analogies. This question shows a pair of words that go together in a certain way, and a third word. Choose a word from the answer choices that goes together with the third word in the same way. A doctor uses a stethoscope in their work, and a chef uses a knife in the kitchen, which is their work environment. So, the correct answer is knife. The next subtest we'll cover is sentence completion. In this question, you need to choose the word or words from the answer choices that best complete the sentence. Sarah's effort to reach the summit was blank. The weather conditions were too blank for her to continue safely. The sentence describes Sarah's inability to reach the summit due to difficult weather. So, hopeless and severe fit best. Other options like easy and pleasant don't match the context of struggle and harsh conditions. All right, now we arrived at the final subtest of the test, which is called verbal classification. This question provides three words that are alike in some way. Decide how they are alike and choose the word that belongs in the same group as the first three words. The correct answer is house. A wall, fingernails, a car, and a house are all things one might paint. Great job completing these practice questions. By encouraging your child to practice regularly, you're already setting them up for success. If you're ready to take it to the next level, we offer a comprehensive Kogut practice package with 27 practice tests and 440 questions. Find all the details in the description and pinned comment below. And don't forget, your encouragement and positivity make all the difference. If this video helped, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating resources for families like yours. Your child's success starts with the small steps you're taking today. Keep up the amazing work, and we'll see you in the next video.